secrets and the whispers brought now to the fore. The light of victory casts a long shadow. And in that nighted gloom, your fragile triumph is under siege. It is the DLC. Decency must be defended. Maybe it's not. It seems like it. Righteousness reinforced. Talent trees? What? This realm must stand fast against those who would seek to poison it and bleed it dry. Virago Crimson Court! New dudes! What? Kingdom. These corrupted lands. Kingdoms? They are yours now. And you are bound Free? Yo, Red Hook. Good job, Red Hook. Free DLC. Okay, so this is the logo. We know this is Red Hook's game because of this. Might be a slight spoiler. Poor defense game with the DD2 assets. That'd be fantastic. Am I sure? Yes. The light of victory. It's kind of loud. Casts a long shadow. And in that nighted gloom. So Jester's placed here. These look like the um, the altar before it's fully upgraded. Oh yeah, look at this. They have B BH is playable. Ah! <laughs> right, Grave robbers in. That's perfect. They start here. Is this the tangle? This looks like the tangle, right? Yeah. DD board game. No, this is the new mode. Helene at the top. She is there. What are all the campsites around? If you haven't played the Darkest Dungeon board game, they have stuff like this. Like, this is exactly how it's built. A standalone campaign on Twitter. Okay. Return of Wolf, maybe. What's up, Kuro? City Builder 4X mode? I hope not. Home for new regions, not just enemies. Never played the board game? It's on Tabletop Sim as a free mod. But let's see. We have a couple campsites. Are these just three enemies, or is this elite? And then we have some symbols here. I don't know what this is, obviously. No one knows. But you have like a yellow mark, and then the mountain, you have a blue mark. So like, and Jester, and then Highwayman. So do you pick up these characters, or is that where they're stationed? Isn't the TTS mod like half the game? It might be now, yeah. You only play the demo? I think they added to it, I might be wrong. Like quests? It could be quests. I'm just wondering what the difference here is in color. Also, Red Hook, these are not the same size. This blue one is substantially smaller than this yellow one. Mm -hmm. Day 23. Day 23 and they're just leaving the inn? Your fragile truck. Angle. Like a fetter. Another fetter. So the biomes are scattered around. This looks like the sprawl again. Biomes is under siege. So, I guess you have to pick up food. I don't see where food is on the thing. Maybe it's highlighted. You were correct. Okay, so they go here, and then you have the regular battle system. The end's on fire. Nope. This is a DLC. This is a free mode update. Yes, it's DLC. Watch all your DD videos. Thanks for the work and content. No problem, Bob. Thanks for watching, man. Darkest Kingdom on the top left. Might mean you can name it. Ooh. That camping back? It might be. Be defended. Uh, regular fighting still looks good. Hold the line. Decent. Ah. We didn't open with point blank shots, so we could open with hold the line. They must be defended. Interesting. Righteousness. Okay. Reinforce. So you still get items. You still get your in items. Still the same, like inventory. 
here's the the tree. I'm assuming these are the same passives. There's probably like a positive quirk unlock. <clears throat> Man arms outsped him, also possible. Sharp shot doesn't have the speed upgrade anymore. Need to gather provisions, I imagine. Had high hopes for console release announcement. That's rough. I know, I'm sorry, man. I, I was really hoping console drop would be good too. I'm assuming there's like stress resist here. Like bonus HP disease resist or something? I don't know. PD1 mode for two? Kinda. Disconnect to the ending cinematic of two. They said victory casts a long shadow, so I'm assuming so. So it's like you you beat DD2 and then the world like is still messed up. Skill tree per run basis. I would assume so. That would make the most sense, right? Honestly, if if this is a replayable like campaign grind type of mode, I don't want these to save. The secondary mode or rework of the way is a secondary mode. And it's free. This is free, by the way. This is a free update. It says in upgrades. Yeah, it's up here, but I'm talking about the physician. This looks like a skill tree. Oh, you know what? Is this like the hospital? No, I don't know. Who knows what the fuck this means? Who knows? This might be actually, though. This might be the, the in doctor. See, when I saw physician, I thought... Um, Plague Doctor Path. I mean, it's green. It's got disease crap, right? I know. No more wagon. DD2 worth getting? Of course. Hurts not as good as DD1. That's just because there are some DD1 purists out there. Good call. Yeah. Paracelsus screen. Look, man. Look. D2 complicated compared to 1. The battles have a little more depth. Because you can't stun spam, but um, I don't think it's too hard. If you played the first one, the second one's not going to be much different. It's not going to be too hard to pick up. Rename the Physician Path, maybe. Different ends provide you with upgrade patches. Thing. We're already halfway through this trailer, man. I need to see more. Is there something here? Hold on. These are different colors. So is this like... Weird. Uh, provisions. So probably trinkets. Oh, trinket price down. Wagon upgrades down. Um, in items, I guess. This is combat items. This might be combat items. Traps. Oh yeah, that's the trap symbol. The tinker. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The per run upgrade give you the ability to recuperate. D2 has less messy numbers to keep track of, yeah. The fact that the evils of the mountain have been purged does not mean that we have that what was created by those evils disappears with them. That's a good point. I'll think that the performance is based on that adventure in traveling through the valleys kingdoms. Yeah. I, I'd be down with that, the valleys and kingdoms. They announce a date just this year. Is there an end boss day limit? I don't know. Mastery trainer, of course this is where all your points are going. What are these symbols though? Is this like hero level weapon level? Hero level skill level? This is skill mastery, right? This really is the DD board game. So these look like hero levels. Um, this is probably a path pick. Uh, this could be skill slots or skill levels. This is like weapon strength, like gear strength probably. And then up here, not quite sure what that would be. Lots of some kind on the right. They, they look like skill slots and I'll tell you why. Because this is a little mastery symbol and this is like the skill box. Give me multiplayer? I don't know, it'd be nice. Facilities come back in some way. Seems that way. Have to protect inns. They could work as facilities. Oh, yeah. So you go around putting out fires for a bit. Ever played the DD board game? I know, but I'm... For the few people that have. You're excited? Nice, man. 
There's five this of these out there. Must stand fast against those yeah, and this keeps changing. Poison it. I would hate this map right here. Like this? This is like the worst wield split in DD1. This is horrible. Kind of want this now? Same, dude. I'd play the fuck out of this. Why are there two mountains? Different map types? Yeah. Yeah, the board game is amazing. I love it. Lots of mountain and shroud on this map. Yeah, there was one where they were surrounded by the tangle at the start. Like this one? Just casual tangle. Looks like this one has a lot of loops. So you can go like this, come back, or like this, like that, and come back. Two confession bosses? Oh, that'd be interesting. Yeah, go fight, you know, FF twice. <clears throat> Countess as a boss. Poison we gotta see that last thing with the breathe. enemies. So this, y'all were right. This was a fan requested thing, by the way. Abomination coming back as an enemy. But now it's an enemy type. It's a tribe. Virago. Surprised they picked the Chev. I guess the Chev's the biggest asshole. No new biomes? It'd be a shame if there's not, because we have three factions. They could use some biomes. They look so good. They look fantastic. Shev's like, yeah, bitch, about to death door to your people in this hit. The Coven, the Crimson Courtiers, and the Beastmen. So it's going to be... The Coven will be like Virago, and then the, the Little Witch. I don't know what her name is. Maybe a Cultist Witch, too. Virago going to start with three Dodge Plus and two Block every match. The blood's already in the game, yeah. Mosquito aristocrat vampires are back. Crone, that's it. There you go. Blight, bleed, and burn. They are kind of symbolizing that, right? But it makes more sense that you got green veins, you got was it the A bomb thing? This is more um This be blight too, huh? I wonder if Crimson Curse is coming back. Wheel people are called the Coven? No. That's just, that's how they're classifying them. Double crit stunned by the Crimson Pricks. I mean, it's just all the wheeled enemies. Maybe they're just coming back. They have some fire base moves. It's possible because you have red, green, and orange. So it'd be like bleed, blight, and burn. All right, Miskatonic, as the resident expert, what's, do the, uh, do the wheeled enemies have a faction name? I know they were like eldritch and human, but is that it? Oh, they even balanced the curse? They would make it actually be a downside the whole time. You know, almost flesh was seared with fire and faith symbolized with burn. Makes sense. Hags Coven. Oh! I'm really glad you're here. Daughters of the Hidden Moon. That's so sick. One tap by Tree Branch. Ah, oh, yes. Any Crimson Curse to cure your horrible other disease? I know, right? Mmm, I have the Black Plague in, in the fits. Mention a few. Interesting. wonder if these enemies will be in the regular mode as well. I think... I don't think they should put these in the regular mode. Maybe the Beast People. That'd be okay. Yeah, this is a bomb symbol, but upside down. But the, the reason I don't want all of these in the base game is, for one, you know, you still need a reason to play the new mode. They could work in Tangle. Two, without adding a new region, having three extra tribes is so awful. It's so much bloat. Like, you can't prep for anything. You just roll down the road and it's like, oh, it could be military, could be pillagers, could be gaunt, could be faction. Could be beastmen. It's too much. 
Could cook three regions with this. We're all going to the sluice. Wait for you at the end. Do we go to which area? Um, maybe the beast end of the sprawl. These dudes, who the hell knows? And then these guys are the uh, better. Right, so Fetter, Sprawl, and I don't want to say Tangle, but maybe Tangle. Could be Collector. Oh no, like Resistance, but Themed? I mean, sure, that's fine, but again, that's like, that's too crammed. There's too much stuff. We see Sluice on the board? I don't remember seeing Sluice. They have their own Trinkets? Yeah. That's the end of the trailer. Kingdoms 2024, they don't say. All right, should we go through again? Go super slow. Check the description, it says the name of the factions. I saw, or people have been telling me. Maybe they're heroes now. More info over the next months. Okay, this this intro is too long. Bro, they eat up 20 seconds of this one minute trailer with the intro and then like another 20 seconds with the outro. There's only like 30 seconds of content in this thing. Come on, Red Hook. I don't see sluice. I only see the four base regions and mountains. The Shroud. It looks like you can make uh, two teams of four, essentially, and rotate people. Just like DD2. Okay, dude. I mean, they, they look like quests. Oh, interesting. So this quest turned... Uh, this went from yellow to blue when they decided not to go through that region, right? Look at this. Because down here is yellow. Check bunny, Bounty Hunter at the toop. I see him at the toop. And then, yeah, see, it comes back and it turns blue. So just quests. Permanent character. I'm sure everyone wanted that. Like, Red Hook is really trying to meet everyone halfway. And I appreciate them for that. Like, okay, you really want Crusader? We'll bring him back. You really want a different campaign mode with no driving? We brought it back. It's free too, dude! Who the fuck's gonna be mad at this? Why no vessel or occultist? You probably get to pick your characters, honestly. No playable A bomb? He's a. Say this is meeting us at our place, pretty much, dude. Might play only this if they play it right. Same. I will not play in a regular run again if this is good. Will they add Crimson Curse? They might. Cultus is missing. Probably going to pick only eight. Yeah. Eight out of like 14. I'm wondering if there's like expanding the selection. Oh, hold up. I didn't even see this. Can't really see it because of the bar here, but there's um there's the normal in interface. So you have whatever this this is the upgrade thing, the buildings, or whatever this is. Provisions, probably mastery, wagon stuff, and then uh pick a spot. This should be the main mode. It kind of feels like it should have went this way. Why isn't Crusader free and in the game at launch? That's what they say. And they're like, why did I have to pay for Crusader? Well, you got Flag for free when he was DLC. They weren't going to bring Crusader back originally. I wonder if Red Hook idea is campaigns equal free, characters equal paid. That would be okay. That would be okay. Increase the roster size. I don't want it to be too big. I don't want to have the full kit. You know, I want to be able to use eights. I think eights a good number. 
This is post campaign. I hope you don't have to beat the game to unlock this because no one no one's gonna like that. You upgrading the ends for the whole run? Seems that way, yeah. Curious if they'll end up adding Musketeer Arbalest. That'd be nice. Hope Arb comes back same. Maybe just denial. Why not? Because this is a new cool game mode and locking it behind like a 30, 40 hour campaign, like for doing the first five confessions. Not cool. It's just, it will not go over well. Safari. In fact, if they try and do that, I will push very hard to make sure that it's just open right away. Lock behind act one. That's okay. Like if it's after denial, that's fine. Most people that bought it never finished it. Yeah, that's the other thing. Imagine you bought this game. You got to like Act 3, pre-nerf obsession. You're like, wow, this sucks. And then you put it down. And then you're like, I want to come back and play this game mode. And you can't because you have to wait and play the, the regular game first. Kingdoms can be played independently of the game's original confession. Nice. Filter the shitters? Nah. I want everyone to enjoy the content. It's a single player game. There's no leaderboards. Playing the main game is still a better way of learning. Yeah, of course. We only had musketeers. Hope there's an infinite mode. I'm not sure. After the second be cool, but after the fifth? Yeah. No, it's too much. I think Bounty Hunter is going to be permanent in this. What's up, Ranger? What'd you miss? The new DD2 mode. A leaderboard and a battle pass? I wouldn't mind a leaderboard for this. I want to see how well I do. Bounty Hunter had to be tuned down to be permanent. If all of the other characters have their mastery versions, they'll be closer to Bounty Hunter. Not seeing a sluice, same. I see a Virago, I see a Beastman. Look at the A-Bomb came back as a faction. They unlocked Derp's Hellion BF. New game mode challenges players in a desperate race against the clock to find and defeat a monstrous threat before it overwhelms and destroys the kingdom. Journey across the land to gather resources, battle evil incursions, all while defending a network of safe haven inns. Acquired resources are used to upgrade heroes and also the inns themselves, which can be improved via extensive upgrade trees. Players will embark on unique quest lines and fight back against three new monster factions, the Coven, Beastmen, and Crimson Courtiers. Are there no, no, there are regular enemies. We saw pillagers. Kingdoms can be played independently of the game's original Confessions campaign. Not much, huh? Looks amazing. The abomination is now against us. Remove stress, it makes the game unplayable. Never change, Steam. Have a weak limit or something similar. One of the pictures there on day 23. Look, I need content, okay? He's a back rank character. I mean, we got reworks on Sharp Shot and stuff. Discussions. Sweet for crappy roguelike game mode game, more roguelike gameplay. Back at first, DD. Damn. Ah, uh, so it's XCOM. I would love Darkest Dungeon XCOM, man. More interesting than the base game. <clears throat> I think it's funny how the original DD2 thing, like the original DD2 uh, confessions mode, was them trying to kind of streamline the first game because only like 5% of players beat the first game. Even though everyone talks like they're big shit. And so like, we're going to make it easier to beat and progress. We're going to give you more narrative and we're just going to make it look nicer and spice it up and have a slightly new combat system. So really, they, they kind of like took what they thought was good in DD1 and just amplified it. And then everyone's like, 
we don't want that red hook. And so they make this, and it's free. And then you get assholes like this. You'd actually finish DD1. Negative relationships. I know, right? Beat the first game in your imagination. Nice. What else can we look at? <clears throat> Second game's beating you. I'm sorry, man. I mean, the wheel makes sense. What do they do to the Iron Crown, dude? It's not five points. I mean, it's got five big points, but then it's got four small points. That's not enigmatic or ubiquitous. More of the style of DD1. I wouldn't even say that. Is it a permanent game mode? I think it's individual, like small campaigns. I honestly think that, uh, I got nothing. Mountain and skulls. Like, I see what they are. I just don't know what they represent. Besides, I guess the mountain, right? I know, man. Mod support. Would have been nice. Fine, is there anything? Have anything else? I'm looking at Discord. So from Red Hook's Discord. Introducing Kingdoms, a free standalone campaign mode coming to Darkest Dungeon 2 later this year. Protect and nurture your kingdom by defending safe havens and purging dangerous environments of insidious threats. Upgrade inns to bolster defenses, embark on unique quest lines, fight back. Against three new factions. More info in the coming months. I really think... I don't know what to think, actually. Demand I give a release date? I don't know anything. Honest to goodness. Just put your circus all over again? I doubt it. Who doesn't have enough replayability? I think those will solve that. That's the hope. Bring me a gameplay reveal. Did you not see this? I mean, they have the trailer. But other than that, not really. Winter release. Yeah, months. Plural. Might be an end of the year thing, honestly. But yeah, I didn't know this was coming. No insider knowledge, nothing. Y'all got my honest reaction. No sound? I'm listening to music. Mid Q3. <clears throat> I definitely think they're going to try and get it out before the holidays to help sell the game. Did I use the mixed review bombing? Or did I see the mixed review? Yeah. I did. I'm very well aware of it. Christmas doesn't sound right. It's the month where companies try and sell new stuff, not give stuff for free. Well, you have to buy the game to get the mode. Pipe down peasants is music, yes. It'll be after Path works. That's cope. Massive copium. Greedy, you need more? Same. Months of wait is painful? Yeah, I mean, at least they, they gave us something to look forward to.